Hey Polish Peeps, welcome to my channel. Welcome if you're new, or I should say welcome back to my channel. Um, this is a Polish review for Polish Pickup January 2022. I can't believe I'm actually saying that, but it will be January 2022. Um, Polish Pickup, which goes live January 7th through the 10th. Um, and the theme is condiments and spices. So, um, I'm not going to go give y'all some long introduction about what Polish Pickup is because I'm going to put all of that in the description box below for you guys if you're new to Polish Pickup. Um, I have, this is exciting, 10 polishes to share with you guys this month. Super exciting. I have 10 polishes and two indie products to share with you guys. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'm really excited about that. Um, some of them I have descriptions of. I will say most of them I have descriptions of. There may be one or two that I don't, but if I don't, I will put that description on the screen for you guys. I will describe it the best that I can. That actually might be kind of fun because I'm not very good at that, so we'll see how that goes. Before we get started, I actually want to introduce you guys to the newest member of our family. This, and she is running amok in my, in my lap. This is Piper. Oh my gosh, she's so cute. Look how cute she is. And she's so tiny. Look how tiny she is. You guys, is she not the most adorable thing you've ever seen? Tell me she isn't. I know you can't resist. I love her so much. So I got this uh, Chihuahua <laughs> puppy for my fiance for Christmas because she wanted a Chihuahua. And of course, I love her. So she has to have all of the things. So we are super excited to have Piper. And I wanted you guys to meet her for the first time. Oh, she's so cute. Um, anyway, I digress. Let's get on with the polishes. So I'm just going to pull, pull the polishes. I have my little bag here with my polishes and I'm going to pull them um, for you guys and just talk about them. And then I'll throw in swatch pictures and videos so you can see the polishes in action and all the things. Um, so the first one I have, this is All Mixed Up Lacquer. And it is called Himalayan on my peppercorns. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> I really like that name though, but it is so pretty. I love this one so much, y'all. It is gorgeous on the nails. I don't know what it is about this color. Like it's just pretty. It's kind of, it's a, it's a rose gold. It really is. I'm about to tell y'all the description because I have it right here. And if I was describing it to you, this is exactly what I would describe it as, of course, because I'm wonderful with descriptions. So Himalayan on my peppercorns is a pink rose gold with golden shifting shimmers, coral micro flakies, micro pink hollow, assorted white glitters, and black assorted hollow glitters. I'm lying. The description that I would have given you was not that descriptive. It would have been like, oh my gosh, y'all look at how pretty these are. It's a rose gold with some shifty stuff in there. It's got some white glitters, some black glitters. It's got all of these glitter is going on <laughs> let me fix this because i feel like i'm like in the middle of the screen um so that would be my my description which would be pretty close but this is gorgeous really pretty in my swatch picks um three coats three coats i think with a glossy top coat and a one finger swatch and a matte top coat um so again that is himalayan on my peppercorns all mixed up lacquer I will put the price and actually wait nope I can give you all the price it will be priced at $11 with no cap uh, no, no 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 with a 200 bottle cap on that one so $11 200 bottle cap Himalayan on my peppercorns I just kind of like saying that so <laughs> let's say it again um, I believe my fiance just walked through the door so I'm gonna hand her this dog <laughs> Hold, please. Okay, I'm back. Um, without the puppy. I have to get rid of her. She's getting a little rambunctious. Um, anyway, so next I have 1422 Designs. This is Try the Gray Stuff. It's delicious. Such a cute name. It is this gorgeous polish right here. The description on this one is... Um, a slate gray polish with purple pink shifting shimmer and purple blue green shifting flakes. 
y'all this is really really pretty you guys are gonna see my swatches of course it's doing this like little ugly bottle syndrome thing but y'all this is so pretty i absolutely love the way this looks on my nails the slate gray is very unique to my collection with this little purple shimmer in here um it is going to be 1250 with a hundred bottle cap so you guys if you've not tried i feel like i do this thing every time i do these reviews where i'm like oh if you haven't tried this you should definitely try that and if you haven't done this and blah 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 let me just tell you guys anytime i do a review on these polishes they're going to be amazing you're going to want to pick them all up i know money does not grow on trees so we have to make these hard tough decisions every month however I can't really guide you any more than to say you're just going to want them. They all have amazing formulas. Um, it just kind of depends on, you know, sometimes maybe this slate grade won't necessarily look the greatest on you. I think it'll look amazing on everybody. It really has a really good formula. They all have really good formulas. Um, it's just kind of, you know, what you're in the mood for. But if you are in the mood for this one, you might want to snag it because it's only going to be available for um 100 bottles <laughs> to be sold so yeah you might want to pick that one up if you're interested in that one and again i'm going to throw in swatches and video all the things you know so just be aware that is 14 22 try the gray stuff it's delicious 1250 with a 100 bottle cap Okay, I'm glad I have these little cheat sheets. I will admit that because they are very convenient. Some of these I don't have cheat sheets for and I will have to look them up on my phone. Excuse me. This is actually not a polish. It is a, um, a jewelry, a piece of jewelry. It is a ring, which is so pretty. Yeah, I really love swatching with these um, little rings. Like, they look so good on my nails. Well, not on my nails, on my fingers and my swatch pictures. I have hair in places. And I feel like I need one in like every color. So super excited to share this one with you. This one is, I'm going to try not to flip you guys off. <laughs> then on my middle finger. Um, this one is inspired by the condiment ketchup. Um, it is a beautiful red stone. Featured on a simple 16 gauge sterling silver band. It will be priced at $15 with a cap of $50. Um, and y'all, look how pretty this is. I love these rings. I love these rings. I have really small fingers. So my ring is actually a two and a half. And if you guys can see, even with a two and a half, it's still kind of loose on me. But if you're interested in any of these rings, I think they're really pretty. Y'all ignore my um, not cleaned up nail job. I did paint my nails at work and they are gorgeous, but I haven't cleaned them up yet. So just kind of ignore that little fact there. But if you're interested in these rings, they will be $15. Highly recommend them to you guys. Um, they will be $15 with a cap of 50. Look how pretty that is. I also have a couple of other rings that she has made in the past. I have one, I'm not even sure what color this is, but it's so pretty. I use this one a lot in my swatches. It's not focusing, but look how pretty that is. And I have one more that I use in my swatches. It's kind of like a mother of pearl color. It's really pretty. Yeah, definitely check out her jewelry for polish pickup. You will be very pleasantly surprised with how gorgeous they look. Okay, next I have, let me look this up before I go into this, you know, description of what this is without even looking it up for you guys because I will screw that up. It is a thing that happens. So, oh, no, that's not where I'm going to look it up. I'm going to look it up over here. 
and I will definitely be cutting all of this out because I don't want to have all of this <laughs> on here. <laughs> Hi, baby. Puppy's back. Okay, hold on. Oh my gosh. I cannot find this. Hi, everybody. <laughs> oh, she ran right into my foot. <laughs> She almost stepped on the baby. Not on purpose. It's okay. She's very easy to step on. Why can I not get to this? Okay, cancel. Yes. Okay. Here we go. This is Glisten and Glow. And it is Sweet and Low on the Go. There's this gorgeous pink polish right here. And it is described as a soft bubblegum pink polish loaded with blue purple iridescent flakes and added aqua and blue shimmers it is inspired by sweet and low on the go of course which as you guys know is a sugar substitute that's always within reach of your local coffee this polish is so pretty guys really amazing formula i have just begun swatching for glistening glow and i'm so excited i love their polishes Y'all, I can't really, I feel really redundant saying the same thing over and over again. It's really pretty, it's a beautiful formula. Like, I feel like I say that all the time. And I feel redundant, but it's just a fact. And this, oh my gosh, has a gorgeous shimmer. You guys, check it out. So pretty. So you guys are going to see in my swatch. Oh, let me grab the baby. You guys are going to see in my swatch picks. Um, this one is swatched in three coats with a glossy top coat and there is a one finger uh, swatch with a matte top coat. This one's going to be priced at $13 with no cap. So if you guys haven't tried Glistening Glow and you are needing a bubblegum pink polish with a gorgeous shimmer in your collection or in your... If you don't have a collection, your soon-to-be collection, because you're going to want to do this every month, <laughs> then you should definitely pick this one up, and there's no cap. So that is Sweet and Low on the Go, um, Glisten and Glow. Okay, I also have started swatching. This will be my first time swatching Cupcake Polish. So let me pull up the information on that one it is this polish right here the name is i know it's extra and it is this gorgeous green polish with those amazing flakies it is described as a medium green cream nail polish filled with red to gold iridescent flakies and scattered red and gold metallic flakies it's inspired by guacamole <laughs> This totally reminds me of guacamole, y'all. Like, it's given me all of the guacamole um, feels, except, like, more pretty than that. This guacamole is not pretty to me, but this is a really pretty polish. Um, this will be priced at $13, and there is no cap. So, if you need a guacamole polish, guys, this dog <laughs> is chewing on my pants. <laughs> Anyway, if you need a guacamole polish with amazing flakies, you're going to see my swatch. I want to say I got this one opaque in two coats, but I um, swatched it at three. Um, and so you're going to see three coats with a glossy top coat and a one finger swatch of a matte top coat. So, um, and it says long wearing full coverage. So you definitely will enjoy this polish. If you have not tried cupcake polish before, again, at the risk of sounding redundant, it's a beautiful polish, amazing formulas. You're going to want to pick them up. You're going to love it. Um, Definitely check this one out if you have not purchased a cupcake polish before and all of that. <laughs> so pretty. 
Okay. Um, next I have, um, trying to think this is, oh, I do have a description on this one. I'm going to look it up too. Give me just a second and I will get that description for you guys. Um, <clears throat> so this is Gior Couture and it is this gorgeous reflective polish y'all i'm all about reflective polishes right now like they are so pretty to me like gorgeous 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 um and since it's kind of like the new thing i mean i may just be late but <laughs> it feels like a new thing to me i don't have a polish in this shade that's reflective so I feel like I need reflective polishes in every shade, so I'm super excited to have this one in my collection. Oh, yeah, I have this new app. It's like a positive, it gives you like positive um, affirmations, I guess. Like you can schedule it to have them pop up on your phone all through the day. So this one says, I am who I have been searching for. So I really like this app. It gives me all of the positive energy in the day. Anyway, again. I digress. So this is, um, oh gosh, I'm not going to say this right. Epis Dasit. Epis Dasit. We're just going to say Epis Dasit. It is, um, inspire. The inspiration is Haiti. In Haiti, they use a seasoning called Epis. Epis um, add so much authentic flavor to meals. We put it, <laughs> she said, we put that ish on everything. Um, it's a dark green multi-chrome base that shifts green, red, gold, copper. It is filled with four different color reflective micro glitters. <gasps> Guys, look how pretty. It's going to be priced at $13.50 with no cap. Y'all, I can't even, like, I can't even show you the reflection right here. Like, I'm trying to figure out how to show it to you. Let me see if I can show it to you with my flash on my phone. Um, because I feel like you need to see it. I'm not even sure if it'll... Yeah, no, it's not gonna... <sighs> I'm trying. <laughs> Y'all, I want you to see it. You're gonna see it in pictures. But it's just, it's not my, I can't get this. It's not doing it justice. I, I tried, but there is, there is definitely reflective qualities going on here that you do not want to miss out on. It's a thinner formula, but it makes it really easy to apply to the nails. Um, there's, it's really hard to describe the application process if you do have too much on your brush it may flood a little bit because of, of how thin the formula is but if you are careful with your application and um you're gonna see three coats with a glossy top coat and one finger swatch matte of this one as well if you're really careful with your application you got kind of thin on your coats because you know you're gonna get full coverage with three coats anyway um then you'll you'll be able to manage application on this one I don't know if all reflective polishes have that formula but I mean I don't care because <laughs> it is freaking stunning on the nails so that is I'm just gonna say Epis Dosset again I don't know um and it's a multi-chrome reflective micro glitter super pretty um I also have let's see um, I have this one. Um, this is Just Peppers. Hold on, I have a description on this one too. Let me find it. I don't know why I keep putting my phone back there. Like, I'm not going to have to pick it up again. I don't understand that thing that I do. But this is Starlight and Sparkles. It is Just Peppers. And it's this polish right here. Y'all, this one is so pretty. Um, let me see. Her inspiration for this polish is the response I get when I tell people about my food allergies. <laughs> I'm allergic to the vast majority of herbs and spices. 
Um, let's see. It is described as an indigo jelly base with red to green shifting old school. Now this dog is, ooh, I'm not even in the camera. It's trying to jump off my lap. Old school unicorn pea um, pigment, which shifts from intense crimson through rich gold to a vibrant green with translucent red to gold flecks and micro flakes in warm tones of red and copper. It'll be priced at $15, um, which normally her polishes are priced at $15 because they do have that old school unicorn pea um, element to them. Um, and there'll be 200 bottles, um, available. You guys, I have to, let me put this dog down again. <laughs> Hold, please. Okay, I'm back. So, like I was saying, this polish is beautiful. Amazing formula. Really pretty. You're gonna see, um, I think I did two coats on this one, actually, now that I'm thinking about it. Um, two coats with a glossy top coat and a one finger swatch of a matte top coat you guys know the drill you know how i roll um y'all this deep indigo base mm, so pretty i'm looking at it like oh, i get excited about color i don't exactly know why that is my thing and that's the journey that i'm rolling with but i get excited about color so super pretty love that um, let's see, I also have, um, let me, do I have a description of this one? I think I do. Let's see if I can find it. No, that is not it. Is this it? Uh, no, that is not it. I'm cutting all this out, by the way, so you guys won't be hearing me searching for the description on this polish. Let me see if I can find it um, elsewhere. I do know. Um, oh no, I don't because I'm I'm actually not thinking um, clearly right now about the inspiration for this polish oh yes i am the inspiration for this polish is um vegeta I'm, i've never heard of that spice before but apparently it is a spice that is used for cooking in central europe and it's a yellow spice and this actually looks just like the spice um it says it adds delicious flavor to your meals and golden yellow hue to chicken soup um let's see so it is described as a yellow curly base filled with red and orange hexes translucent glitter green micro glitter and fun colorful neon mix it's best in two to three coats i believe i did three coats i think i did three coats um but i have pretty long nails right now so it was necessary for me to do three coats, but I agree. You definitely could get it opaque in two coats. Um, it will be capped at a hundred and priced at 1150. So, um, Adore Colors is new to Polish Pickup. I want to say this is, this is her first, first time participating in Polish Pickup. I've been swatching for her for a while. Um, and I'm really enjoying her formulas, really enjoying her glitter combinations. They're super cute usually when she comes out with these cute little glitters in her polishes. Her formulas are, I mean, she made it to polish pickup, so <laughs> her formulas are good. Um, what else can I say? I don't know. You guys will have to, just have to check out the inspiration pictures. Um, Actually, you know what? I can show you that inspiration picture right here so you guys will know that it is definitely just like <laughs> the spice. There's a picture of the spice baguette. I've never even heard of that, never even seen it in my life, but it looks like it would make food very, very delicious. So that is um, When You Cook With Heart by Adored Colors. Um, priced at 11.50 with a cap of a hundred 
a hundred, a cap of a hundred. <laughs> That's funny. Anyway, um, I also have, ooh, I have this, do I have the description of this one? I feel like I don't, but I should. I don't. Um, but this is Kathleen and Co. I will throw description somewhere up on the screen. This is Saffron Crocus. Crocus? C R O C U S. Um, and it is this beautiful lavender polish, you guys. This, uh, mm. I feel like I have a special place in my heart for purple polishes, as you guys know. Purple's my jam, so I always just. I fall in love with purple specifically. So that is why this is just like giving me all the feels. But this uh, flaky goodness going on in here is also really pretty. The formula is very buttery. It just glides onto the nail. Um, I have a, a like a love affair also with Kathleen and Co's brushes. Um, they have the, she has those paddle brushes and they are just the perfect size for my nail. So, um, yeah, I get super excited about polishing my nails with this paddle brush. Y'all, my dog is likely to pee on my floor, so hold on a second. <laughs> have to pick her up. Um, so yeah, I love this lavender shade so much. Um, when I'm painting with this paddle brush and the purple goodness, I'm just like, Ooh, look at that. <laughs> so amazing. So excited to be able to be swatching also for Kathleen and Co. My polish pickup because purple. Hey, babe. Can you take this to the Do you want this? She she's, came in here. She's playing. Go home. But she's fine. I got her clothes. Y'all, look at the baby's clothes. Oh my gosh. Put it on her. No, she needs a bath first. But just put it on her temporarily. Okay, fine. <laughs> okay. I don't know exactly. I guess I'm running out of space. Yeah, because I only have four minutes on there. It cut out on me, so I have to do some editing. But y'all, look. Aw, she's all scared. <laughs> She don't know what's going on. Oh, look at her. Day, She's so day. cute. She's not going to be able to wear that much longer, though. Shh. It's tight. It's tight. <laughs> anyway. It fits. I mean, it fits temporarily. Um, but, like I was saying, um, black polish, black jelly polish, everything but the kitchen sink. I will put details of that up on the screen. Um... I think this was two coats with a glossy top coat and one coat of a matte, no, yeah. One, three coats of a glossy top coat, one finger swatch of a matte top coat. As you all know, that's how I roll. Um, so that is Restored by Polish, everything but the kitchen sink. The last polish that I have is um, another one that I do not have an accurate description of but it is gorgeous this is spicy mayo by alicia's lacquer again amazing formula it is this peachy um like peach colored <laughs> polish with it has like red glitters in it micro glitters red micro glitters and i'm also seeing like some gold in there of course you guys when i get the description which i probably have i just I don't know where it's at. Um, when I get the description, I will put it on the screen for you guys. But y'all, I mean, I don't know. Maybe I'll do an insert or something. But y'all, this is so pretty. And an amazing um, formula. I did three coats. Glass top coat. One finger swatch of a matte top coat. Um, I don't even really know what else to say about this polish because I don't know. I don't have that information in front of me. But when I do, I'll give you guys that information about how much it's going to be and what the cap is, but so pretty. If you haven't tried Alicia's Lacquer, another really good brand. Again, <laughs> um, you might want to pick this one up if you need a peach polish in your life with some really flashy red glitters. Gorgeous, really pretty. So 
So that is spicy mayo. It also looks just like spicy mayo, oddly enough. Um, the last thing that I have to share with you guys is Glisten and Glow's Glitter Grabbing um, Top Coat. So if you guys have not tried this top coat yet, it is amazing. Um, it just smooths out those polishes with like all the like kind of bulky glitters that kind of tend to maybe sometimes stick up on the nail a little bit. And it just smooths them out and makes your, just like your finish looks so perfect on the nails. So if you have one of those polishes and you want to try this glitter grabber top coat, um, you're going to want to use one coat of this and then use your regular like glossy top coat on top. It'll just be perfect. So smooth, so gorgeous, so beautiful, stunning. It just makes sure those glitters pop and look smooth on nail. Definitely highly recommend this. If you have not tried it, you need to. You need a glitter grabbing top coat in your life, specifically Glisten and Glow, because this is just a good one. <laughs> it's really good. Um, that is it. That's all of the polishes I have to share with you guys. I think one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yes. Ten. Um, so I am rushing because I have like one minute to close, um, before my camera shuts off again. So thank you guys for joining me. Um, hope you guys are making, um, your wish list by the time I post this video. I have no idea when I'm going to post it. Wish listing is not available right now as I'm recording, but will be soon. Um, if you enjoyed this video and you're not subscribed to my channel, please consider subscribing, give it a thumbs up, hit that notification bell so you can get notifications of when I post videos, um, all the things. I hope you guys um, are going to bring in the new year with a bang like I am. 2022 is going to rock and um, hopefully I will see you guys in the next video. Love you guys so, so much and I will talk to you soon. Bye!